an amazing discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Town lighting fixtures in space found 7 trillion miles from Earth. This massive finding has sparked interest in the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The telescope zeroed in on Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, revealing extraordinary bright lights emanating from it. What could be the reason for those city lights on Proxima Centauri b? Could this one day reveal the presence of life beyond our solar system? Join us as we delve into how the James Webb Space Telescope perceived these superb objects in space. For a critically prolonged time span, analysts and the general population have hypothesized about life beyond our near-planetary community. Evidence suggesting life has been eagerly awaited. In reality, the scientific community was taken aback when strong evidence of living entities was observed by the James Webb Space Telescope while analyzing space and sending crucial data back to Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope noted impossible to ignore city lights shimmering from the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b. These lights were exactly as their name suggested, lighting fixtures similar to those illuminating a town. The possibility of an alien city existing on the star has left scientists confounded and bewildered, as it seems like the life they've all been waiting for. Assuming that this turns out to be real, as everyone believes it will, it means that there are intelligent living beings building civilizations new to what humans know in space, and we are just discovering it. Exploring the city lights located 7 trillion miles from Earth, NASA designers can't help but wonder how long those lighting fixtures have been visible in space. David Kipping, a cosmologist from Columbia University, describes the Proxima Centauri b exoplanet, where the city lights were located, as fascinating. He said so because the star system closest to us has changed intensity patterns that are not similar to other planets. The regular rocky planets are known to absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, but not so for this exoplanet, as its infrared nature is distinctly different from that of its host star named Proxima Centauri. This requires an excellent observational eye by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the telescope proved to be invaluable as the proper tool for the task. The JWST can indeed understand infrared frequencies, the specific power feature of Proxima b, which can be a crucial part in uncovering the accepted secrets of its surroundings. This will be achieved thanks to the latest era of infrared imaging capabilities advanced by the JWST. Scientists hope to use the telescope to find the biological components of this planet at air levels. They also plan to use the Webb Telescope to research the possibilities of life on this exoplanet. The James Webb Space Telescope has an infrared focus that is ready to investigate what happens on Proxima Centauri b's night side. Getting the smallest light emissions in the vast darkness is typically a mission for space telescopes, but not for the JWST, as it can detect even the smallest light emissions from space. It's the perfect tool to test if the reports about town lighting on Proxima b's night side are valid or not. Not every artificial light in the universe can be detected by the telescope as long as it falls within a frequency band that is often smaller than the starlight. Proxima b has an interesting relationship between its celestial components and surface conditions. The day side of the exoplanet contains numerous solar chargers that harness the blazing solar energy emitted by the star, while its spectra area reflects incoming light beams. Meanwhile, when Proxima b completes its orbit around its host star Proxima Centauri, it experiences day and night cycles similar to what we have on Earth, with the daylight having high solar intensity and the midnight experiencing coolness. The planet is thought to have temperature variations regulated by its structure. For instance, assuming there's no atmosphere on Proxima b, the difference between its day and midnight cycles may be wide and far apart. Assuming there is no moderating effect of atmospheric gases and oceans, the temperature of the day side may be sizzling hot like a dark body, and the midnight will plunge into cold darkness. The degree of temperature variation is a ripe subject for astronomers to unravel a deeper understanding of Proxima Centauri's structure. Having an unparalleled infrared imaging capability, the JWST can indeed examine the planet's thermal emissions to provide wise information about its biological properties. Interestingly, the orbit of the James Webb Space Telescope around the Earth aligns with Proxima b's orbital period, giving a complete view of its 24-hour cycles within 11.2 Earth days. If it indeed has an atmosphere, the next step would be to assess its environmental science to determine whether it can support life. 
A couple of best indicators in deciding if there is life are the presence of gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane. If these elements are found on the planet, it suggests that it maintains possible conditions for life. The task of precisely identifying this requires researchers to be meticulous as they collect and analyze light beams that pass through the planet's atmosphere. This is a very challenging task. Even though the JWST has incredible capabilities for characterizing planetary atmospheres, it has a primary objective. The telescope has been programmed to only investigate the variations in water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane concentration when it comes to detecting enhanced oxygen, which is a crucial signal of something happening deep below. The JWST is limited in this area, although the telescope still has key motivations to look for other elements in the world, like ozone, which provides a unique level of importance within the atmosphere. The fact that the James Webb Space Telescope doesn't have comprehensive capabilities and cannot peer at some of the nearest possible worlds to Earth, leading an exhaustive air analysis, space experts are now leaning towards ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT. The ELT is a telescope that has been designed to start operating in 2028, and it is strategically placed to look deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. It will offer data on these planets to provide comprehensive and clear insights into their level of habitability. NASA scientists and everyone are eagerly awaiting the deployment of future space telescopes like these. Until that point, however, the James Webb Space Telescope remains a crucial tool in our journey to explore the mysteries of remote exoplanets. Despite its ongoing limitations, the Webb Telescope has the potential to provide substantial insights that will revolutionize how we interpret exoplanetary research now and in the future. Researchers have a goal for future space telescopes, and that is to reduce the amount of bright light coming from a planet's host star so astronomers can better see the lights reflected from a planet itself. They intend to do this through the use of internal sunshades or large external sunshades shaped like an umbrella. Just like using your hand to block out beams of sunlight to allow you to see an object clearer, reducing the overpowering brightness coming from the host star will better position future telescopes to focus on faint impressions of light coming from a distant exoplanet, allowing for a clear analysis of its atmosphere and the possibility of supporting life. Doing this comes with its own challenges, but ever scientists need to recognize gases created from life and those from geological cycles like volcanic activity. Astronomers are not giving up on understanding the characteristics of exoplanets, so they are better prepared to detect signs of something happening on a deeper level and distinguish them from misleading signals. The Webb Telescope represents, at the same time, an excellent opportunity. A remarkable story has emerged recently that some aliens are indeed something special in the stars, just hoping that humans will find them to provide an answer to this question. American space experts Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson started an undertaking called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984, known as the SETI Association. It is a charitable enterprise that aims to sift through cosmic signals to truly get radio transmissions from space. The rationale behind focusing on radio transmissions is a consequence of their ability to travel large distances without getting dispersed or absorbed like other forms of radiation. Thanks to this brand, Radio transmissions are bound to be recognized by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the Allen Telescope Array, located in the foothills of California. Although the SETI Association has thoroughly observed indicators of these radio transmissions made by extraterrestrial life, there have not been any such signals for more than 30 years. Jill Tarter is motivated that they will have a positive outcome as they plan to utilize the devices of the 21st century to speed up the search. In Jill's words, I wish that you would allow Earthlings everywhere to become active participants in the ultimate quest for extraterrestrial association. All of this continued until recent reports from NASA suggested that the James Webb Space Telescope observed city lights from a planet near Earth. The JWST is the game changer employed by individuals in determining the universe. It is already the most advanced tool in all of mankind to reveal all the mysteries of the universe. The telescope is currently floating around 1 million miles from Earth, sending detailed insights regarding the earliest times of the universe. It is expected to get the previously subtle insights viewing space as it conveys more clarity on the evolution of space, galaxies, planets, and stars. Cosmologists haven't failed to benefit from the JWST's cutting-edge improvements, 
such as its superb camera detail and filters to detect and analyze the delicate tones surrounding extraordinary objects. Experts are eager to use the telescope to gather data about the true properties and chemical compositions of celestial bodies found far away in the universe. This was achieved by isolating specific frequencies of light. Beyond just observing, the Webb telescope continuously examines the weather of exoplanets for faint hints of life, no matter how small. It has an unparalleled ability to explore the presence of life and has revealed some of the most fascinating discoveries ever, including the discovery of something else in mass than what was previously believed to have existed in the universe. This mass has been found in numerous large structures, casting doubt on the earliest configuration and breadth of the universe. Humanity has since decided to explore the farthest reaches of the vast plane using the JWST as a crucial tool for achieving this. Through the telescope, new information on distant galaxies will be recorded, and more astrophysical data will be available, ready to tackle the mysteries of these planets. Years ago, the vast space beyond our planetary system wasn't explored. Since then, however, Astronomers have identified over 4,000 exoplanets that orbit distant stars, showing exactly how far human ingenuity can go. Still, these discoveries are seen by NASA as just scratching the surface of the cosmic iceberg. Scientists believe that, in truth, there are trillions of exoplanets scattered all across the universe that haven't been discovered. Not giving up over time, Scientists are still exploring space with at least some hope of finding alien environments where humans haven't ventured. They have had promising signs throughout this mission. For instance, when Galileo hopped on a bus going to Jupiter, its spectroscopic tool accidentally revealed an interesting spectral signature that lent credence to extraterrestrial plants. This was the first time scientists found a profile that indicated the presence of life in the universe. This biomarker was the vegetation red edge VRE, which seeks extraterrestrial life specifically by closely monitoring how it reflects light. With the help of the VRE, the James Webb Space Telescope is expected to reveal the secrets of extraterrestrial environments through the careful examination of orbital constraints of potentially habitable planets residing within the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. Once these are identified, the VRE can provide valuable evidence in the search for intelligent living entities outside Earth opening a new journey in uncovering the mysteries of the universe. When sunlight passes through the atmospheric layers, the scattered light, which carries with it specific frequencies, gets absorbed by the particles and molecules found in those layers. As the absorption continues, a particular spectral pattern associated with specific fingerprints is formed that can be deciphered through spectroscopic analysis. It's a common notion that when light from stars reaches a planet, the Webb Telescope will be able to recognize it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. This data suggests that the JWST could be the missing link to uncovering the biological composition of these Earth-sized planets and planets that contain atmospheres rich in carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen. Such planets could potentially support life, but the lack of specific compounds could highlight alternative forms of life and industrial advancements. For example, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, Man-made chemicals used for refrigeration and other industrial purposes could help scientists in proving the existence of extraterrestrial development. If the JWST detects such synthetic particles in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will be clear evidence of extraterrestrial activity beyond our planetary group. This opens up a new window for extensive researchers to study the environmental composition of other worlds and the narrow chance of alien civilizations beyond Earth. The possibility of life away from Earth is portrayed by a vast array of possibilities that transcend the limits of natural view.